Hi, this is Dr. Shabarasi talking to you again. This is calcium disodium EDTA. I'm running it more slowly. You can run calcium disodium EDTA in very quickly. It will not lower calcium levels. Why am I doing this? For these reasons. You see that long dark bar across the page? That is gadolinium coming out. That is the amount that was measured in the challenge test uh, actually prior to getting the calcium EDTA when I received an MRI for uh, medical reasons and had a gadolinium infusion. You'll see on these next pages that what's happened is the amounts stayed high as we were pulling gadolinium out with calcium EDTA. Gadolinium is a metal. It is, over time, very pro-inflammatory. Anybody, who, anybody who's gotten an MRI with gadolinium or gadavis has had gadolinium. We think the safest form of gadolinium right now is gadavis, but you can see that these levels stay quite high. This was a level that went up to 600 micrograms per gram of creatinine, and this was after we started chelation therapy. This is actually before we did the chelation, after we had begun a chelation protocol um, on a subsequent uh, uh, treatment. So you can see once you start mobilizing gadolinium, it comes out of the body. Uh, this uh, is the follow-up 96 level on this. Uh, this level here, you can see, is much more uh, reasonable, and it had dropped way down as a result of calcium EDTA treatment. It's important to see that. It pulls out these toxic metals. Calcium EDTA is a form of chelation therapy. It is a very effective way to get metals out of your body. Metals are pro-inflammatory. They can be very toxic to you, both acutely as well as in the long run. If you've ever had an MRI with GATO, you should be getting chelated, and you should be seeing a doctor who knows how to do it. This is the stuff that works very effectively and very safely and I've used for many years. It's calcium EDTA. This is Dr. Shabarasi signing off for now. We'll talk to you about my next IV in a few minutes.